frickin' made it. They got these like shower gel and, and shampoo like dispensers in the shower. I've never seen that before. You haven't. It's fascinating. This hotel's <laughs> too bougie for me. It's so early. Contemplating everything. Quick little OOTD. Test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got my blood drawn and it freaking hurt. Food <laughs> smashed. <laughs> big piece of corn on the cob. It looks like this out of a, <laughs> a talk show. <laughs> I know, I thought Allison Buckman's joining us today. <laughs> the lighting's not good for you. That's fine. All the lighting should be on you. You're right. What do we do today, Mom? We got up very early. Mm -hmm. We did not have breakfast. Oh, the things we did do. We <laughs> we did not get on the bus. My mom Sorry. scolded the bus driver. <laughs> Just a little shade. She was like, you got any more room left? And he was like, just for two. And she was like, well, we have three, so that's not going to work. <laughs> and turned around and left. You exaggerate. <laughs> I don't think I do. We got blood drawn. Mm -hmm. We got... We had a, the evaluation with the doctor. Mm -hmm. Evaluation with <coughs> the doctor. Took copious notes. Talked about the various types of pots I could possibly have. Yes. I have a 24-hour thing I need to pee in. <laughs> Jug. I don't know if that's TMI. <laughs> could be but whatever they clicked on a mayo clinic vlog dad you want to be in the vlog no thank you <laughs> okay good night <laughs> good morning so i had to go back to mayo today around 7 30 to return my pee jug and to do an autonomic reflux test I'll tell you a little more what that is after I get it done because I don't even know what it is, but I'm super tired and I just wish I could sleep all around.
so here's a little update on how today went i did an autonomic reflex test which pretty much tests your autonomic function and it tests to make sure your sweat's fine i don't know it sees how your heart rate and your um blood pressure respond to like pain or standing they put you on like a tilt table test again which i talked about in my what is bots video do some breathing tests to see how your blood pressure and heart responds to that just to see if you have like an autonomic dysfunction my autonomic system is fine so that's rad <laughs> of course i still have pots my within 10 minutes my heart rate was up by like 50 beats so they just pretty much confirmed that i had pots but the cool thing is this place actually gives me like a really good idea of how I can start treating it. I also did like a um like a blood test and when I was talking about how I had to like pee in that jug for 24 hours, what that was doing is testing how much liquid I drink in a day and like how my salt levels are, my sodium levels. And then my lab results show like iron and b12 and blood volume and just like to check those levels they said they'd recommend me to up my b12 up my iron double the amount of sodium <laughs> double the amount of sodium that i have in a normal day and my blood volume is um, a little bit lower than the average person all of these factors contribute to me not feeling good um, so all of these factors, if I can, you know, do some fine tuning will hopefully make me feel a lot better. Um, along with that comes like exercise and all that fun stuff because we love exercise. Yeah. Obviously I'm always going to pretty much have POTS because I'm always going to have EDS. Pretty much what the doctor told me is because I'm hypermobile, my body, that so are my blood vessels and that's like my blood vessels can uh, hold blood properly and that's what causes my pots you know whatever who cares we get to go home tomorrow i guess i think we're going home we might stay one more day just because we paid for a hotel room so why not the frick not just turn up you know what i'm saying we also might not because my whole family is getting sick and we all need to be on antibiotics so we might go home and just you know go to the doctor i literally am at the doctor every single day of my life for some reason also i don't want to get bullied or attacked for this but for a lot of like my vlogging at Mayo Clinic or just the vlogging I did literally just stupid random clips I'm in a wheelchair and that's because of my pots and like hip dysplasia and knee problems and literally joint problems in general I can't walk long distances at all but like in my hotel I can walk like short distances so that's why I'm in a wheelchair sometimes and other times I'm walking around like a normal gal so yeah it is um 8 30 and now my dad is getting beat ups it's really bad for me and it gives me a stomach ache but sometimes it's freaking worth it sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and eat the good food and just have the bad night <laughs> Sweet frickin' home. I think I'm gonna shower. Okay, so first of all, my lips and tongue are blue because I just got a sucker when I went to the doctor's because we love a good sucker. <laughs> 
but I went to the doctor ironically right after I got back from Mayo I have a like a really bad sinus infection and it's like starting to get into my chest I'm wheezing like like this <laughs> can't even fake wheeze today's Friday it's gonna be like the last day of the week in my life um, but I'm not gonna record like any of it because all I'm gonna be doing is sleeping. It's 10 in the morning and I'm gonna go <coughs> I'm gonna go make some soup And that's what I'm gonna be living on for like the rest of my life just soup <laughs> Bottoms up Anywho, I'm gonna eat my soup sleep Hopefully not die or hopefully, I don't know at this point. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post once a week. Don't have a, a, an exact day, but I post at least once a week. Um, all my socials will be linked down below. If you ever need someone to talk to, hit me up. Stay hydrated. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.